the Kelpie RTA from EH Pro and Vaping with Vic. Let's have a look. Hey guys, Wim Vic here, back with another review. Today we are looking at this. This is the Kelpie RTA from EH Pro and Vaping with Vic. Uh, obviously not me, the Scottish Vaping with Vic, uh, VIC. Um, it's his first design, it's his first collaboration with EH Pro. It's a 25mm wide, 2mm capacity RTA, single coil RTA. Um, comes with, well I don't know about what it will come with in the UK, but uh, the package I have comes with a bubble tank that takes it up to 3.5mm capacity, so 2mm with straight glass, 3.5mm with the bubble glass, available in stainless steel and black, 810 goon tips on top, adjustable airflow, very interesting airflow, actually very unique, um, and uh, quite an interesting deck as well, very very easy to build on deck. Um, yeah. 25 mil wide, 2 mil capacity, stainless steel or black. The Kelpie RTA by EH Pro and Vaping with Vic. Let's go down low. I'll uh, give you the, a really nice look at this up close. Talk about a few pros and cons down low. Talk about them again when we come back up top. Um, I'll show you how I'm building it. What I recommend for wicking it as well. There's a couple of little tricks with the wicking uh, which do help. And uh, yeah, then we'll fly back up top. But let's go down low. Okay, guys, here we are down low with the Kelpie RTA from EH Pro. Uh, right out the gate, I'll just say uh, I believe this is the uh, temporary uh, reviewer sample packaging. I don't think the actual packaging looks like this. Um, the, the, the Kelpie bit is just a sticker, Vaping with It Project, that's just a sticker there. It's got a, a sticker on here. Um, there's no TPD ID on the box uh, it doesn't say uh, who's imported it either so this box isn't compliant but I believe it's just the sample box um, also inside you get um, a bubble glass as well which is obviously not two mil um, so I think this is just the sample packaging so I can't tell you what really comes in the real packaging uh, but obviously this this box is uh, a sample box it's not compliant um, so that's that so that's that that's uh, that's the box mine came in is what it is I'm sure the uh, actual real version will be different so this is it this is the tank we've got um, uh, we've got a nice drip tip on here nice big five uh, eight ten drip tip other other goon tips are fitting and uh, yeah not bad at all now I don't know again sample packaging but um, mine didn't come with uh, an 810 to 510 adapter which is a bit of a shame on a tank like this, this sort of wattage range, I would have liked to seen a 510 option, but it is what it is, you know, it is what it is. You've, we've got Kelpie written here, we've got a glass tank section, we've got like a, like a serpent and a castle um, on, the, uh, on the barrel there. Uh, obviously uh, Vic is Scotch, so castles, Scotland, it's a thing. Uh, we've got design by Vaping Vic on the bottom, serial number as well. Um, so there we go. Now, starting at the top, we've got a Kelpie written here in a little arrow. And uh, this is the top fill. There we go. Nice and easy. You can glug your juice down there. I will say, though, uh, I'll talk about it properly up top. This is actually one of my slight negatives. Um, I noticed that in Mark Todd's review, his, his top fill is fine but mine's too loose mine's really loose uh, you can like just tap it like this and it just opens and it's opened on me in my pocket as well um, it's just mine is just slightly too loose but I think it's just mine because I saw on Mark Todd's review that um, his isn't too loose at all so I think it's just mine so we'll, we'll let that slide but yeah slight negative from me um, I do worry about these these are more of a sub tank thing than an RTA thing um, I, prefer, I would prefer a slightly more permanent way of uh, top filling, but there you go. No big one. It's not a big one, and I think it is just my, my tank. But yeah, the top fill's been slightly too loose for me. Uh, you've got your adjustable airflow down here. Now, you can open it up really wide. It's dual-sided, and it goes really big. It looks huge. It looks huge for a single-coil tank. Um, and you can close it right down to whatever you like. I actually like it about here, two-thirds-ish open. Now this is uh looking at that airflow there it's it's kind of a, a false uh, representation of how the air works um it it's nowhere near 
as airy as that so don't panic if you're a, a medium wattage single coil person it's not nowhere near as airy as, uh, as it looks looking at that base so this is the deck this is the deck so what you've got going on here is positive on this side negative on this side and that allows you to put your coil in like a U or you can do it like an S so it's completely up to you how you coil this up uh, but you can see inside here we have got the airflow we've got all these little holes all different sh shapes and sizes of holes and uh, they're all different slanting as well so they all slant in slightly different directions which is an interesting touch but as you can see this way more restricted in here than it is down here so the actual vape is more restricted than uh, than it looks when you're looking just at that base so don't worry about that it's a, it's a very nice smooth interesting airflow uh, you can have a slight restriction if you want it or you can have it pretty wide open if you want it as well um, in my opinion the airflow works the airflow really does work is uh, definitely a thing I will point out another negative that I'll talk about up top as well here though these screws it's hard to represent on camera but these screws are really, really, really small. Some of the smallest screws I've ever seen in a deck. Um, and they're Phillips ones as well. And my worry is um, my worry is that they're going to strip, really, because that's such a lot of tension to be holding on such a small screw. They're actually really hard to get um, off sometimes. Uh, like, even with this tiny, tiny, tiny screwdriver, I, I can't really get purchase on this screw this screw seems to be stuck really <laughs> um, luckily I'm doing an s-shaped coil so that's not a big issue but yeah I don't know I, these screws are too small in my opinion um, and that's just that's just the way it is not a deal breaker but uh, yeah they're a bit small they're a bit fiddly I think they're gonna disintegrate over time and go bad but um, yeah the screws are too small it, it's a thing what I'll do now is I'll build it up and then we can talk about uh, wicking and uh, mounting the coil and all that and then we'll go back up top. See you in a sec. Alright guys, so here is the Kelpie all built up. Um, the beauty of this deck is you can do your leads either way. As I've said, you go up there and up there. You can attach it like that, just like a traditional, like a U, or you can do it like an S. You can go up, along, and up like that. So you can do it either way. I've done it like that, but that's just because how my that's how my coil was. Um, so yeah, very very easy to build on. No easy, no no issue there at all. In terms of the wicking, for me the trick is this. And I haven't seen what uh, other reviewers have said about uh, wicking and all that, but this is my opinion. Um, you want to keep this quite open. You want to keep this quite free. This juice channel. What you want to do is you want to sit the cotton up as high as you can, all nicely packed in here, and even packed under these screws. I don't know if it was deliberate or not, but um, the cotton goes really nicely under these screws and that'll stop any juice sneaking around the sides, but also helps it wick quickly, it does wick very quickly this, um, and that is how I am wicking it. So you want a nice blob in this area here, blob of cotton here, poke it right into under the screws, right under the screws there, and don't have too much down here. You want the juice to come up here nicely and, and touch all this. and. Uh, <laughs> no issues with wicking at all. Uh, been using this build quite a while and uh, it's gone very, very well indeed. So there we go. That is the Kelpie. Once you've got it built and wicked, obviously all you do is uh, screw your top back on, put your airflow how you want it, and then you look for the word Kelpie and the little arrow and uh, you fill it up through this hole. You fill it up through this hole. There we go. Happy days. That is the Kelpie RTA from EH Pro. Let's go up top for pros and cons, of which there are a handful. Okay, guys, that was the Kelpie down low. Really, really interesting uh, tank, this one. Very interesting deck. Um, in terms of building it and all that like you saw down low you can't really go wrong you can't really go wrong um, coil position doesn't matter too much um, you can put your coils in like that or like an s shape coil um, so you can put your coil in however you like very very easy to build on and all that uh, wicking 
I think the secret and the key to wicking this thing is how much cotton you put in that channel. The two juice channels really want to leave those quite free and you want to dam up the cotton at the top of those juice channels. Uh, poke them under the screws as well, that's a nice little trick. Poke them under those screw holes um, and it wicks absolutely fine. So very easy to build, very easy to wick. In terms of how it is vaping, I am at 50 watts with a 0.5 Clapton coil. Um, 3 mil diameter, 50 watts, and I've got the airflow two-thirds open on both sides. Nice and cloudy, nice and smooth. Um, the vape's excellent. It's a very, very nice vape, actually, when you put it all together and get it how you want. In terms of the actual vape, what I will say is the, how much you adjust the airflow at the bottom doesn't make a huge difference. Uh, really, you want to do it in like a third, two thirds fully open. Those are your sort of three options. Because there's so many holes inside and it's so big outside the airflow, it doesn't make too much difference. I like it at two thirds open. It just seems to be how I, it feels smooth to me. The airflow is actually quite restrict. Um, it actually restricts quite well. It reminds me of the intake RTA. Um, where it looks like it's going to be really cloudy, but actually there's a nice bit of restriction on there. If I close it down to a quarter, you can see that you can you can sort of see that there's the restriction there, and you can intensify the vape like that if you want to. So no issues with building or wicking as such. In terms of negatives, I'm just going to put these out there. Um, they're not deal breakers, but uh, they are the negatives that I found with this tank. Um, Always tricky to talk about when you're talking about another reviewer's device, but uh, the two negatives I have found is this one seems to be just mine, <laughs> just my look. It seems to be just mine. I don't know if it's a big problem or not. Uh, I looked at Mark Todd's review for the kelp for this tank, and uh, you know he, he he didn't have this issue. But my top fill's too slack. My top fill is too slack. It's it's really slack, and, and it'll only get slacker. It won't get tighter. So um, I'm just slightly worried about it in my pocket, out and about. Because um, a little nudge like that, and it's yeah, it's it's flying off. Um, so it's just slightly slacker than it should be. Not a deal breaker, no big issue. Um, but yeah, and I think it is just mine. I think it's just mine to be honest. But I've got to review the tank that I got. Um, so that is that. Uh, the top fill is slightly too slack in my opinion. It's happened to me before with other sub, sub tanks and things. Um, is the what is what it is. So that is a slight negative, um, but it may just be mine. <laughs> um, the the next one is is a real one. It's a real one. It's definitely a thing. The screws, the screws that are used on this deck are too small. They are way too small, and they're Phillips as well, which means you've really got to get the teeth of your screwdriver right into those uh, and crank them off. That in my, I don't, I'm not sure what the thought process was behind it, uh, but I think they're the smallest screws I've ever seen in a post. I think they'd have got away with it if they'd have used Allen key um, hex screws. Um, because obviously when you put your allen key in there, there's not a lot of rigging room. It's harder to strip a hex hex screw. Um, but uh, I feel like it's, it's a lot of pressure to be putting on such tiny, tiny screws. Uh, I think it might be an issue down the line. I think they might blunt and yeah, slacken and disintegrate over time. So yeah, that's a negative from me. I would have liked to have seen bigger screws. I'd be interested to see. I think EH Pro might adjust that because they'd make these tanks in batches. Be interesting to see if for the next batch they maybe tweak that because um, it's definitely a thing the, the the screws it's not a deal breaker but the screws are too small it makes it really fiddly and if you're not careful you're going to strip these screws in my opinion beyond that no complaints no complaints at all it's a very nice vape uh, the airflow definitely works really easy to build and wick and it's very very tasty up around this 50 watt mark as well I'm not sure what they're going to do about the TPD. The box that I got is just a reviewer sample box. It's not the official packaging, I don't think. Mine had a bubble tank in, but I guess the UK ones can't have a bubble tank because that would be more than 2 mil capacity. Um, mine didn't have any of the proper TPD notifications on the box or anything like that either. So I don't know what they're doing about the TPD one, but it is available in, in the UK. It's available from Nature Vape. I've seen that. Um, but yeah, so that's potentially a thing as well. I think it definitely would work better with, it definitely would be beneficial to have a bigger capacity, but obviously they can't do that because TPD in the UK. Uh, but the bubble tank, if you've got a bubble tank, might be a savior on that. Three and a half mils is a lot better than two. 
Um, but it's a nice vape, very tasty, very cloudy. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying the vape, I think it's a great vape. Tasty, cloudy, no issues at all, wicking a dream. All good, all good in that respect. Is this tank for you? What I would say is, if you're a single coil RTA person, that likes that mid-range, that 30 to 60, 70 watt range, then it is definitely a tank you should check out. If you're below 30 watts, I think there are, there are you know, better tanks for lower wattage than this. It's not a super low wattage tank by any means, not a mouth to lung tank by any means. Um, so yeah, so if you're, if you're a single coil RTA guy and you like that 30 to 60, 70 watts, definitely take a peek at this. Uh, it's definitely getting a thumbs up from me. It's a really, really nice vape. Good job EH Pro, good job vaping with Vic. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.